Hi, Brandon. Hello, Kat. So you have um, a new Curtis drip coffee maker I that do. you want to show off? Commercial. Okay. Commercial what things. What is this guy? This is the low profile commercial thermal brewer. Okay. Okay. It's called the TLP Thermal Low Profile. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a shorty. It's, it's, it's a goblin sized. It's a goblin sized. It's a cat coffee maker. Yes, you can actually reach it. It is at eye level. <laughs> I can actually fit in here. <laughs> I was. <laughs> if you notice, the camera's not angled up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so tell me about its stats and stuff. Um, very simple brewer, mm -hmm. uh, basically. It is, it's actually a pretty high-end brewer. Okay? okay. So it comes with actually pulse brew settings. Mm -hmm. If you're not familiar with what pulse brew is, it's basically pre-infusion, if you will. So okay. it actually comes on, comes off, comes on, comes off. It allows us to have a better flow rate going through the basket, okay. as opposed to having a 12 gallon basket to okay. accomplish that all right um, it is programmable temperature wise which is really cool on a model like this you okay. can actually make adjustments in increments of two degrees mm -hmm. um, very simple to do basically one of these two little buttons are your ups or down once you get in programming mode mm -hmm. um, comes factory set at 200 degrees but we can go up to down to down to 190 up to like 206 oh okay so wow. if you have different origin coffees that you want to brew it at you can still use this which okay is awesome um, it is a complete commercial machine, so it's plumbed in. No right. pour over tanks or anything like that. Um, it's only a 110 machine though, so you don't have to have 220 power, uh, 220 volt power. Mm -hmm. 110, very low amp draw. It's only a couple amps that it actually draws. Mm -hmm. uh, comes with a fancy little hot water spout. Uh, makes it great if you want to do any pour overs, teas, nice. anything like that. Okay. Uh, very simple. It's small. It fits underneath most cabinets. Am I gonna do? Is something bad gonna happen if nope. I open this? Okay. Yank it out. <laughs> ah! <laughs> There's water in there. Okay. Yep. So it takes one of the flat It does. It filters. takes one of the flats, and that's what we're going to be brewing with today. Okay. Uh, nice little easy one right there. I've mm -hmm. already got it set up with coffee. Uh, most cafes are going to have this, obviously, already in stock. Yeah. It's, it's not a big one. It's the same size, even though it's plastic. It's the same size as what's going to be taken inside of one of these. Oh, basically. okay. I see. Um, so it's just plastic to save you a little bit of money. Okay. And then we brew directly into this guy. We are. Because it is a low profile, if you notice, this one's a little shorter yes. than the other ones. Um, this is actually a 2.5 liter, so it's shorter and has more volume. Mm -hmm. Yay. Uh, but we're going to brew directly into this. Uh, that way you can just... Close it up. And directly with the um, spit the pump in there too, going yep. through that hole? Yep. Now cool. there's some people, they'll do this. You'll see a lot of cafes like that. Okay. Um, there's not a real reason to do that. You can brew directly Straight through, through. here. Uh, there's also no reason to do it. So okay. it doesn't really matter. done brewing we are done just under seven minutes okay um, it took a four pulse basically so mm -hmm. it's pretty quick we could speed that up a lot if we took out those pulses okay and uh, what kind of coffee did you use? we are using zoka tangle town okay um, part of the reason i did go with that four pulse on this one here is because it's a lighter blend mm -hmm. um so it's nicer if it just has that if it just sits a little bit longer i find it nicer okay um we did an 18 to 1 concentrate uh people will play around from 15 to 18 to 1 so it is what does that mean for somebody um, like me who's not a coffee geek. <laughs> You've filmed enough of these. You know <laughs> I'm that, asking for others. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that is basically the grams to, to water. So what okay. we're looking for is on this one here, mm -hmm. um, it is roughly 69 ounces worth of water, which okay. I don't have my numbers in front of me, but it was like 2,000 something grams of okay. actual water. And so then we divide that by 18 and I we come out to 108 grams worth of coffee. And okay. that's what we put it um, put on there. Okay. Uh, generally, again, with coffee, especially drip coffee, mm -hmm. between 15 to 18 is where we're trying to stay. Um, but again, that's all going to differ on taste. Okay. So we're going to see how this tastes. Yeah, let's do it. I'm excited. We have Sam's little uh, grandma cups down here. Eh, <laughs> see if I can actually put that in there. That would help. Mmm. <laughs> here we go. Cheers. Oh. We're fancy and mm -hmm. commercial. It's good. Mm. It's really smooth. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's hot. Very hot. Yeah. Great temperature. Smooth, but it's got a nice, um, um, uh, kind of like a nutty yeah. aftertaste. Yeah. Tangle Town will do that. Again, it's a, it's a little bit of a lighter roast. Mm -hmm. Um, I think, you know, again, around this 18 to 1, I think it came out really good. I would yeah. like this. So, who's going to buy this, Brandon? This who, who, what's is... The, 
this is kind of a weird machine. So this okay. is for people that have short countertops, basically. Mm -hmm. um, it works great in offices. Um, it's offices, it, places like that, basically, okay. where you know you can't have that big, tall machine that's this tall. Okay. Uh, we're looking for volume. Mm -hmm. um, it's really not the machine for a coffee shop. Again, a full-size coffee shop, you may as well buy a full-size machine. Okay. Um, so again, small offices, maybe small churches, uh, people that are looking for that good volume, have height restrictions. Mm -hmm. That's that's this application. Cool. And All wants right. some programmability. So that is the Curtis TLP. TLP, yes. Goblin sized. Goblin what? sized, which we are um, approving that one as a patent pending. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if Curtis picks us up on that. <laughs> Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Kat. Hi, Brandon. Hello, Kat. So you have um, a new Curtis Drip coffee maker I that do. you want to show off? Commercial. Okay. Commercial what things. What is this guy? This is the low profile commercial thermal brewer. Okay. Okay. It's called the TLP Thermal Low Profile. Mm -hmm. um, it's basically a shorty. It's, it's, it's a goblin sized. It's a goblin sized. It's a cat coffee maker. Yes, you can actually reach it. It is at eye level. <laughs> I can actually fit in here. <laughs> eye wise. <laughs> if you notice, the camera's not angled up. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so tell me about its stats and stuff. Um, very simple.